Hello, I'm Sarah Webb, children's writer and creative writing teacher and welcome to this week's Creative Bursts, your little bit of creativity in the day. <laughs> this week's theme is travel, adventure and exploration and as you can see I'm at a little desk today. <laughs> so I got this desk when I was 11 and I've written every book I've ever written, I've written on this little desk and um, so it's quite special to me. So the first thing I want to do today is I want to read a poem to you. And this poem is by Samuel Taylor Coleridge and it's called Kubla Khan. And it's kind of a mysterious poem. I'm not quite sure what it means, but I love the language and I love the sense of mystery. Kubla Khan by Samuel Taylor Coleridge, an extract. In Xanadu did Kubla Khan a stately pleasure dome decree where Alf, the sacred river, ran through caverns measureless to man down to a sunless sea. So the first thing we're going to read about today, the first person we're going to read about, is Cynthia Longfield. And Cynthia was known as Madame Dragonfly. And she was born a long, long time ago in 1896. So if she was still alive today, she'd be over 120 years old. <laughs> And um, she was born in London but grew up in County Cork. And this is a picture of her is by Graham Corcoran. And this is from our book we did together called Dare to Dream. Cynthia Evelyn Longfield was born in London and grew up in Cloyne, County Cork on her family's estate. As a girl, she loved spending time outside, watching caterpillars and tadpoles grow and change. She was a practical and capable girl and at 18, during World War I, she joined the Royal Army Service Corps as a driver. She also worked in an airplane factory and during World War II she ran a fire station. So a really capable person. She went on her first overseas field trip in 1921 to study insects in South America. And she was completely bitten by the exploration bug. We'll find more about Cynthia on Wednesday, we'll find out more. But she was a very, very famous in her day for discovering lots of different new types of insects, um, most especially dragonflies. So, the first thing I want you to do is to write a story, a poem or draw a picture about somewhere really special that you'd like to explore. So, some examples are Mars. Or another planet, the Amazon jungle. We're going to talk in a little while about two books set in the Amazon jungle that I love. One called The Explorer by Catherine Rundle and another one called Journey to the River Sea by Eva Ibbotson. Another place you could explore is the ocean abyss. So there are lots of different layers in the ocean and the bottom layer, the very dark, dark, deepest layer is called the abyss. Or how about the Arctic or the Antarctic? Now you may know of a famous explorer, an Irish explorer to, called Tom Crean, who went on expeditions to the Antarctic. So how about the Arctic, the Antarctic, or one of my favourites, the Egyptian desert. Now, have you ever heard of Tutankhamun? So a gentleman called Howard Carter, an Englishman, discovered Tutankhamun's uh, tomb and his mummy and all the treasures inside in the Egyptian desert. So decide where, sorry this is from a super book called Epic Tales Triumph and Adventure by Simon Cheshire and illustrated by Ireland's own Fatty Brook. <laughs> so write a story about or a poem or draw where you want to explore. That's your first challenge. Your second challenge is to write about a discovery you make on your trip and maybe to draw it as well. And you may need to name your discovery as well. So for example, it could be a new plant, it could be a new animal, it could be a brand new pyramid or a brand new mummy or treasure. You decide. And remember, between each of these challenges, you can pause the video and work on them. Or maybe you can jot them all down and come back to them after. Or there will be notes to go with each week that I will put up alongside this video. So you can look at the notes to remind yourself of what you're going to be doing today. 
So the third challenge is to write a poem called One Day. And you can structure the poem like this. One day I will travel. One day I will see. And then, sorry, I should explain. You'll fill out the rest of the sentence. So one day I will travel. And you put in where you will travel. One day I will see. You put in what you will see. One day I will discover. You put in what you will discover. And then I will. And maybe you'll be given an amazing nickname. <laughs> like Madame Dragonfly, which was Cynthia's name she was given. Or the amazing Arctic Explorer. Or you decide. Or maybe something else will happen at the end of your poem. Now, I forgot to tell you. My favourite words are quotes. When I run writing clubs, I always start and finish with quotes. So my favourite Royal Dow quote is, watch the world with glittering eyes. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. And another favourite that I like to close with is by Einstein. And he said, creativity is intelligence having fun. So have some fun with your writing and your drawing. Mm-hmm. <laughs>